Hi, man. This is Bing Crosby in Hollywood, ready to knock a few songs your way via V-Disc. Especially for you. We garner our weekly medley from the archives of a rare old Paramount pick, possessing a trio of tunes by Victor Schertzinger and Jumpin' Johnny Mercer. This fondly remembered offering may be recalled as the fleet is in. The story, I may say, had to do with sailors. No. I swear. Really? I swear. In our opening song, which Bob Eberly sang to a smash success, is none other than Tangerine. You know, of course, Kenneth, what a tangerine is. Well, I know, Mr. Crosby, sir. What is a tangerine? A tangerine, Kensington, is an orange that's not quite up to naval standards. <laughs> tangerine. She is all they claim. With her eyes of night and lips as bright as flame. Tangerine When she dances by Senorita said And caballero sighed And I see Toast to tangerine Raised in every bar Across the Argentine Yes, she has them all on the run But her heart belongs to just one Her heart belongs to Tangerine Among the many charms of the Fleet's Inn, not the least was Dottie L'Amour, who portrayed a hostess in one of those dime a dance places. Oh, you mean one of those places where they go, da 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 boom boom ticket. Yes, that was one of the longer, more drawn-out dances. A waltz, possibly. Arthur Murray taught me dancing in a hurry. I had a week to spare. He showed me the groundwork. The walk around work and told me to take it from there. Arthur Murray told me, advised me not to worry. I had a natural bent. He was mistaken. The falls that have taken have bent me to quite an extent. The people around me can all sing a one, a two, and a three. But any resemblance to waltzing Just coincidental with me Arthur Murray taught me dancing in a hurry And so I take the chance To me it resembles the 90 day tremble But he guarantees it's a dance Doubtless, this little cinematic saga had its inevitable thread of romance. A bit frayed, uh, shall we say, but I'm sure it did. The hero even went so far as to hock his watch for just one dance with the fair taxi dancer, which was a great mistake. Why? After he'd hocked his watch, she wouldn't give him the right time. <laughs> well, they must have gotten together eventually, otherwise they couldn't have worked in our romantic concluding melody, I Remember You. It's all right. I remember you. You're the one who made my dreams come true. A few kisses ago. I remember you. You're the one who said I love you too. Didn't you know? I remember too a 
distant bells and stars that fell like rain out of the moon. When my life is through and the angels ask me to recall the thrill of them all, then I shall tell I can hear her in the twilight At the organ softly singing Old Black Joe There's an old spinning wheel in the parlor Spinning dreams of the long, long ago Sometimes it seems I can hear her in the twilight At the organ softly singing old black joe There's an old spinning wheel in the parlor Spinning dreams of the long, long ago Now, that letter about the song Huggin' and Chalkin'. Uh, surely, does the writer say that the idea was contained in some cowboy tales written around 1906? Yes, in a story called Bar 20. Here's the letter. Oh, yeah. Johnny Nelson had a gal 15 hands high and 16 hands around, and he'd have to chalk a mark to see where he began when he hugged her. That's it. That's the idea. Let's do it. Huggin' and Chalkin'. I got a gal who's mighty sweet, big blue eyes and tiny feet. Her name is Rosa Bell McGee, and she tips the scales at 303-O-G. But ain't it grand to have a gal so big and fat, so when you go to hug her, you don't know where you're at. You have to take a piece of chalk in your hand, and hug a ways and chalk a mark to see where you began one day. I was a hugging and a chalking and a hugging and a chalking away when I met another fellow with some chalk in his hand. A coming around the other way over the mountain. A coming around the other way. Nobody ever said I'm weak. My bones don't ache. My joints don't creak. But I grow pale and I get limp every time I see my baby blimp. Oh, gee. But ain't it grand to have a gal so big and fat that when you go to hug her, you don't know where you're at. You have to take a piece of chalk in your hand and hug a ways and chalk a mark to see where you began one day. I was a hugging and a chalking and a begging her to be my bride. When I met another fellow with some chalk in his hand, a coming around the other side over the mountain. Yeah, there 
he is. I'm coming around the other side. 